the NAB National Academy as a bottom major. It's part of the Leroy Brown That's set right. up out there. Start the tribunal. Just using the third person again too, Ben, so you've caught twice for that. <laughs> yeah, he did. He came off the interchange bench and ran straight through me. Got reported. Nothing's changed. He's still trying to set Real it up. Check. He actually uh, kicked 25 goals in under 19 match for Essendon back in 1980. From the throw in. New one down the front. He's got it back. He's trying to get boots to ball and he managed to, so he got to participate. And thanks to Nat for their support throughout the championships. Firstly, the Nat. New one's got the better spring. He got it down pretty quickly. Matheson will get onto it. Back to New one. A little fumble. Uh, and first spotted playing for the Northwest uh, side from WA in the under 16 championships. Who's a bottom age player overhead and tackles fiercely. Didn't just didn't finish his work off the other. With the Div 1 boys, so it's good. Vic Country got a dominant side, haven't they? They really have controlled controlled things, but you can see because there's a number of academy boys in their side. We spoke to Lenny Hayes yesterday. He'd won the Lark medal as the best and fairest player in Division 1, so some boys are ready, others aren't, and so it's a matter of whether you hold the ball back for, uh, for some that uh, aren't quite ready or just let the natural courses or natural development take. When he gets it, he uses it. He's good to watch. The and overlap's uh, coming. And the overlap well. is coming. New one is of age come out here to Australia, so he's had an, an amazing sort of upbringing, if you like. Uh, and at 50, you can see some really good, clean footy. Uh, so, um, Dom Tracker. Sheed a couple of years ago, Christian Petrucca, it was last year. Uh, look at those, yes. What do they got the tag cup? They got the academy stuff. These guys that are in all these, and I'm sure there's mixed messages. Oh, 100%. But, yeah. And then you, you know, throw in a few reptile managers, drop it in there too. Exactly. Worth. <laughs> yes, you know. <laughs> Reptilian being the uh, <laughs> operative word there. Yeah, well, you know, all of a sudden, it's just got to be a funnel, and they've got to work out what the best advice is. And I, and I think I'll say that as a joke. Obviously. He did. Think he kicked ten in one game. Is that right, Kev? He uh, certainly kicked a big bag in the grand final. The grand final, yeah. The Colts grand final. He kicked four against Vic Metro during the championships. Uh, in that five, and then I think it was six in that grand final. Was he in the academy? No, no, not oh, in the academy. He did the period under 16 level in his day. We just picked him out of the 16s. And how did you miss him? He's a boy from Lake Grace, <laughs> I reckon. Mark Besto. Mark Besto country. country. Yeah, that uh, for some reason wasn't there at 16 level. Let's see how Big Garsh finishes off his championship. Yeah, we haven't seen him have a set shot for goal. It's not bad, but it's just off to the right. So 27 hit outs, another fantastic yeah. game from Gash. The good news best 80 prospects from around Australia will gather for a three day job interview at Etihad Stadium. Well, the clubs will go over them with a fine tooth comb.